Welcome back to Hacks, where we try and simplify cybersecurity. Today we're back on hackthissite.org looking at basic number six. I apologize if you can hear a fan in the background, it is my big desktop machine. It's currently running a virtual machine which I'm going to be using to solve this lab. So, upon visiting basic number 6, you will see Network Security Sam has encrypted his password. The encryption system is publicly available and can be accessed with this form. Please enter a string to have it encrypted. You have recovered his encrypted password and it is 62CF4 semicolon J equals. Decrypt the password and enter it below to advance to the next level. So Sam has created an encryption algorithm which takes a string and encrypts it. So his encrypted password has been outputted here. So what he's done is he's put his current password into the encryption mechanism and it's output it here. Now in order to test the functionality of this what we're going to do is we're going to feed it some data and see how it behaves. So first of all let's start with a a, 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 and see how it encrypts just a string of A's. So you can see now that it's encrypted it as A, B, C, D, E, F. To me, this looks like a Caesar cipher with a shift in position and an incrementation. So for every position in the string, it will go to the next one and add one to it. So if you've got A, 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 the second A becomes B as it's added one, the third A becomes C because it's added two, and so on and so forth. Let's just go back and check what it does with numbers to see whether it does the same. So you can see I've entered a string of ones and it's come back with one, two, three, four, five, six. It does look a lot like a Caesar cipher. But how are we going to handle the semicolon and equals? So if we put a bunch of exclamation marks in there and encrypt that, you can see that it's going down the line and encrypting them. So what this appears to be doing is it appears to be using an ASCII table to convert the characters into their ASCII numbered association then adding a value like 1 or 2 to it and then converting it back. If you bring up an ASCII table you can see that when you enter an uh, exclamation mark it gets converted to 33 and then a number is added to it so the second character in the string should then become a quotation mark which you can see it has. The third then becomes pound sign or a hashtag and so on and so forth. So you could quite easily go through the ASCII table and solve this password by reverse engineering it taking the values that he's got in his password and reversing it by deducting one off of it but where's the fun in that? You know if you can solve a problem by spending several hours coding it instead of spending two minutes manually deciphering it then why not do that fortunately I spent all of today um, actually coming up with a solution for this and I will show you it now so it's a basic bash script and what it does is it takes the value and puts it into my string so that would be his password and then it converts it back to ASCII or the ASCII value and then it's got this base value of zero because remember the first number isn't being incremented so it's saying base equals zero so that means when it does the first calculation for base base is currently zero sorry so it's j j equals j plus base so in this first loop it will be it won't change the value then at the end of the for loop it adds one to base and then loops again so that this time base is one so that the ASCII value gets added one to if that makes sense apologize I'm doing a bad uh, a bad description so what we can do let's just confirm that his password is still the same let's copy that head back to our virtual machine which is a Linux box running Parrot OS pretty sure it's the same but I'm gonna paste it in there anyway 
and then save that and bring up my terminal if my operating system lets me and as you can see we've got it here we just run decrypt.sh and we should get the value I put here so if we copy that and take it back to the browser and submit it we should get a congratulations you have completed this mission so yeah um, really simple bash script which took me far too long to complete that can reverse the algorithm and recover the original password and the lesson to be learned here is not to use reversible encryption um, it's a very simple algorithm that he's used it's a sort of sees the cipher with a shift um, but he's using ASCII values so if you're ever looking to store data in a secure manner use the current encryption methods uh, use strong encryption don't use encryption that's easily reversible like we've done here uh, that's all I've got for you today uh, I hope you liked it if you do give me a thumbs up maybe subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time for basic 7 thanks and goodbye Please hang up and try again.